Oh, g'day everyone. It's Mikey here. How are you? As you might be aware, a little while ago, probably about three months ago, I uh, came down with, um, started getting sore in the fingers. And um, as someone who's played guitar and other instruments for about 40 years, getting sore in the fingers sort of uh, was a bit worrisome. Turns out that uh, at the age of 50, I've got cerebral arthritis, and uh, it's gotten pretty bad. Um, I can't play guitar anything like I used to, and at the moment I'm sort of uh, in the middle of the whole medication thing with doctors. But what I'm going to do is start a bit of a blog posty type thing, and try and find little tips and tricks for musicians uh, who suffer arthritis, so we can play again. Because um, not being able to play has really sort of, you know, sort of taken some of the uh, the uh, joy out of my life. Um, but there's a lot of other stuff in there. So here we go. One of the first things is when you wake up. Um, quite often, my hands. That's about the movement that I get out of my hands. So to to how can you put it? To be able to do anything, we need to increase the movement in our hands. And I mean, there's pain in there. So this is a little thing that I've found that really helps. Basically, you get into a prayer position and then you bring your fingers like that as low down as you can and then push down into there. Hurts a little bit. Don't let it hurt too much. Do this for a while and come back up. And we keep doing that. Like that. Ooh, I forgot to go right back up like that. And as we come down, every time we just try and put a bit more pressure on there. And what we're trying to get to after a lot of doing this is to get to where we can start to form a heart. If we look through here, try and form a heart with our fingers. And that way, let's see how we're going. Getting a bit more movement. I can almost hold a guitar pick in this hand. Some people have to do this for a lot longer than I do. As I said, I've just come down with it and I'm trying to uh, find ways around it. In the mornings also, uh, if you've got a lot of movement and a lot of pain, I've found hot water, either a nice hot shower, or with my hands, I put them in a bowl with hot water. Okay. So let's get into the point where I reckon I could almost hold a guitar pick. I'll do a bit more, and as you can see, get a little heart in there. Beautiful. Starting to get some, some good movement in the fingers. Not too much. Okay, now the other thing is, I still, with that, I could not play a normal guitar, could not play normal chords. So as guitarists, you may have heard, or musicians, open tuning. Um, there's a lot of different open tunings out there. Uh, my favourite is one called Dulcimer. Um, e A E A A E is how you tune it, as opposed to the guitar, as opposed to E A D G B E. Um, now, when you're playing with open tunings or different tunings, um, my acoustic is an old 1969 uh, Yamaha, so I don't want to play with the tension on that neck too much. So I went down to Aldi, or I got a friend to go down to Aldi for me, and he spent $65 and bought me this guitar. Yes, this is a $65 Aldi special. And I thought, well, if I bust the neck doing open tuning stuff, um, it won't matter. It's only $65. But this is a great guitar for $65. Cut away, no electrics in it, but um, still good. Now, as you can see, I can hold a pick. I can't hold it like I like to hold it. If it was me, I'd try and have that. I normally had, the, but I can't do that anymore. But I can do that. Now, the other thing is, yes, we can't, to try and play a chord, you can't do it. But with open tunings, E A E A A E, we can play open. You can use one finger to change the chording. So this is tuned more or less in, in an A. Things like uh, little tunes there. Now, um, you can also play the sixth root, 
just by trying to do that. You, if you can't do that, then try and just get even a little finger or those fingers and uh, there you go. Let's just tune this. So here's a little bit of dulcimer played with arthritic fingers. start playing again, if you haven't played for a while because your fingers have been sore, yes, they're going to be sore. Work through the pain. Every rheumatologist I've talked to said, don't rest them. Keep them moving. Um, if you rest them, they rust. Uh, so the trick is to keep them moving. Even things like little half scales that bore us to tits are good because your fingers are moving. I couldn't have done that um, a little while ago. So keep practicing and uh, start looking around at open tunings. This one is E, A, E, A, A, E. One of Bob Mould's favorites. tips and uh, how to play some normal tuning stuff soon too.